I've got your next holiday dinner that's not a turkey or a ham. Cornish game hens with garlic and rosemary is the dinner you're gonna serve that won't break the bank and will impress all your friends. You may or may not have ever cooked a Cornish game hen. My mom used to make these when we were little, when we were having a fancy dinner. You can serve these one per person or a half per person, depending on what else you're serving. This is how they come in the grocery store. You can typically find them in the freezer section. They're about like four or five dollars each. So these are again, a super affordable way to make something fancy. Cornish game hens are just very young chickens. All Cornish game hens are chickens, but not all chickens are Cornish game hens. Get what I mean? This is gonna be a very simple preparation for Cornish hens, just similar to a roasted chicken. I've already thawed these out and just sort of patted them dry. Now I'm just gonna rub them with some olive oil and season it with some salt and pepper. You wanna get inside and outside just how you would if you were roasting a chicken. Next, I'm just gonna stuff the cavity with a quarter of a lemon and a sprig of rosemary. This is gonna deliver a lot of aromatic flavor into the bird. This is a great holiday meal option if you're only cooking for a couple people. You know, instead of having to get a big turkey or anything like that. This is just way easier and more budget friendly. They're all stuffed, ready to go. Look at these cute little packages. I'm just gonna stick these into a large roasting pan. I'm gonna kinda coat the bottom with a little more olive oil, stick these in here, and add some more aromatics in the form of garlic. Going in with 24 garlic cloves. I have an extra rosemary, may as well stick it on down there. And I'm gonna add in some more lemons. The recipe does not say to do that, but it's gonna make it pretty. It's as simple as that, and now they go to roast in the oven. I'm gonna start them at 450 degrees, for about 25 minutes or until they're just evenly golden brown. While that happens, I'm gonna make a little deglazing mixture because that first step of cooking is developing a nice crust and caramelization on the bottom of the pan, and we wanna lift that up. So after that first stage of cooking, we're gonna deglaze with a little mixture of white wine and chicken broth. And I'm gonna add in a little more olive oil just for flavor and just whisk that together. And that's it. All right, check it out. We've got some color going on on the bottom. Now we're gonna add in our liquid. I didn't pour it directly over the little game hens because I don't wanna mess up that crispy skin. Crank the oven down to 350 degrees, go for about another 25 minutes, and then you're gonna to wanna to baste them about halfway through. This smells so good. Look at those. Impressive, easy, crispy. I'm just gonna create a simple sauce with the pan drippings. So I'm gonna put these on a platter and let them rest. To finish this off, I'm gonna strain all of the stuff from the pan and just be left with that little liquid gold. I'm gonna add the garlic cloves into that liquid too. And we're gonna reduce this on the stove for just about five to six minutes until it thickens up a little bit. Probably a more regular portion is to cut these in half and give each person a half of one. I'm being generous since this is my main entree and because I don't wanna mess up the beauty of it. Finish it off with some of our sauce. Look at this garlicky, savory deliciousness. I also love serving this with wild rice because I don't know why, but every time my mom made Cornish hens, she made wild rice. So no, just can't teach an old dog new tricks. As promised, your fancy holiday meal that is not a ham or a turkey. It's so easy and you didn't have to wait hours for a turkey to cook all day. Now, if I was really just by myself, I'd probably just go for it and eat it with my hands, but I'm gonna try to be a lady. Tender and juicy, crispy on the outside. Just a little like it. Mm. You know that turkey is always dried out, not this guy. This meal is definitely something you should try this holiday season, and when you do, don't forget to tag me. See you next week. Hello, bird.